To come home and do it back on the whenua. This is really the first time on the island in 170 years. It's a real healing poem, not just about this, it's about all the whole, whole process of coming together and putting a jigsaw together. But traditionally the lips were done first and the lips sort of made up the head of the deity or the tūpuna, the guardian that we were choosing to represent. And then the central line coming down the middle often was symbolic of the torso of the deity. And then the bottom uh, hooks, if you like, or the bottom forms at the bottom were to make up the legs of the deity. And then these top ones here made up the arms. So it sort of gave the wearer an opportunity to name their muku after maybe a tūpuna, a guardian, Atua or goddess, goddess if you like, uh, which sort of just helped with the intimacy between the wearer uh, and the marking itself. I feel absolutely honoured and privileged to have our kuia Muruhu, uh, Nani Daphne, here with us this morning. She wants to keep a close eye on everything. Uh, 90 years here with us on earth and she's never seen a moko kauai uh, being done before, so uh, being able to connect her and the mokopuna that are in the whare today to our tong has been quite um, a privilege for us. Um, Nanny Daff's here, our Uncle Opo's here, and they both totoko um, the wānanga and what's happening on our marae. Oh. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> so it's good to be coming back into uh, the whare where the moko is being welcomed and it has a place back here on our marae. Moko came into the Pacific with Rarama. Uh, there's a story of two people that bought uh, the first Korowai and Taniko and the blueprint for the first Korowai. Some people will say that only no papa and they bought the Moko with them. I think this is beautiful. End of an old journey and it's the beginning of a new one, but a new one that's full of hope, opportunities, embracing and um, honouring our tūpuna, um, opening pathways for our mokopuna and um, you know, and just a change for me as Māori. Oh, I love that. Perfect, I didn't know. I didn't see what he was doing. What do you want? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to interview you. Yeah, thank you.